Well, we defeated Na Na last time, the Valkyrie Queen. Uh, it was a hell of a fight, it took me maybe three, three and a half hours. Uh, I edited it down, obviously. It was an awesome fight, you know. I mean, maybe, I don't know why I feel reluctant to, to say that, you know, like the boss fights and the combat in this game are so, is like, I don't think I'm reluctant to say that it's amazing. I just think that maybe it's the fact that they use such similar looking enemies for some of the boss fights and the enemies that it makes you feel like it's repetitive when it's really not and like the fights like against uh the berserker king and against gnar and all the berserker fights really were just yeah really awesome and a lot of the boss fights i mean i feel like they should have maybe they could have cranked up the difficulty in some of the main story boss fights i understand that they're reluctant to make them as challenging as this but i don't know mate Maybe there could be some sort of cinematic option where you could, if you want a harder fight, you can just antagonize them or something in the dialogue at the beginning, or if you want the normal fight. I don't know. I, as, you know, I, I would have wanted, for me personally, because I quite enjoy these sort of grueling fights, I would have wanted this level of difficulty for Thor, for Heimdall, for Odin. Um, I would have wanted this level of difficulty. I mean, I died once to Odin. Yeah, I didn't die as a Thor though. But yeah, this was a quality fight. Uh, I, I just think that what's I think the Berserkers like were all awesome. I just think that they should have made each Berserker a bit not look as similar. I think they should have given them their own style because it's just a character, right? They just had to design the their look. Uh, and I think that if they would have made the Berserkers look a lot different between each one, not just a green skeleton in Viking armor. I think it would have made it, you know, it would have made them feel like very, all very different boss fights, even if they were reusing move sets and stuff. But anyway, the Gnar fight was, was class. It was class. It was, uh, yeah, and the, the aesthetic of the Valkyries is gorgeous. I think I have broken my controller. <laughs> um, like, like, I've got really bad stick drift to the left now. not doing it now okay but uh, I'm not gonna be playing another PlayStation game for a little while so <laughs> I don't have to deal with this problem right so um, the Valhalla DLC is the kind of next thing but before that I'm just gonna go and we're gonna try and do a few of these Moose Behind trials so that we can get the resource that upgrades our armor to max level level 9 I think it was or 10 um, I don't know if that will carry over I don't really know what the Valhalla DLC is um, my in, my intuition was that it was maybe more of a challenge mode similar to this arena maybe because it's in Valhalla we get to we'll, we'll end up seeing the big characters from the games perhaps but one of you said in a comment early in the playthrough that there is story content but I don't know whether that means there's some but not a lot so um, yeah we'll see Right, so uh, this video might be all moose behind if I enjoy the challenges. Uh, but once I get the upgrade resource, uh, I might nob out of here and try the DLC. Because it's not going to get better than fighting Gnar, is it? Right, we've got a tier 3 challenge. Defeat at least 20 enemies within the time limit. I'll watch your back! Damn it. It's explosive. Be careful.
Nice, you can kill everyone. Here, big boy. Kill everyone else. No lizard men. That's Seventy. It's going to be a bit more touching. I think I would have got it if I would have had the other rage. I just couldn't aim at those little balls quick enough. That sucks. My cooldowns need re regening. I, I would like to have full rage, so we'll just go to the to the gate because the gate tops off everything, basically. Yeah, and it seems to get some distance to pick them up. Oh, it doesn't fill up all of your cooldowns, weirdly enough. Right. We'll try and save the uh, Berserker Sigil thing for... And I think that um, Freya wasted hers on a, a, a smaller enemy. Not too difficult though, just need to be a bit more efficient and quick. Hope you're ready, brother! Oh, they took my rage away. everyone else man I 
Just do it. Oh, the metal's flowing towards the center. How? What did we do? We told it to move. Come on. I can't remember what resource we need. Oh. This guardian, I think, is it Divine Ashes? Excellent. Maybe it's Smoldering Embers. No, that's for sp specifically for Moose Behind Armor, I think. Good in check, we're okay. Oh, you're the broad a pail of water. Or twenty. No, I need one more. Window shopper. <laughs> Does it unlock anything? No, it needs to do all three. Oh, well, might as well try it, right? I don't know how many challenges we'll unlock in the central bit. Oh, this is the right hand side arena, yeah? The awkward one. Rapidly, okay. So how long do we need to do it for though? Get ready. Twenty-two enemies. No, I'm not. A really high pitched voice. Uh, I shouldn't have done that. That's wasted so much time. Telling the lava to move. It said that the weapons of Muspelheim retained the memories of those they killed, even after they're melted down. The metal lives. That's a metaphor. Sure. No. <laughs> Maybe we're going to get an, a distinct boss fight then. Any smoldering embers? That was, that's not the same thing. Bloody hell. That's not the same thing, is it? Oh, you're gonna brought a pail of water. Or twenty. Oh. Nah, you'll be back. Alright. These aren't too bad. I thought they were going to be a lot more grueling. Well, some of the early challenges were way harder than this, but I guess we're just higher level. This is the pit arena. Have we already done that one? 
Yeah, I think so. Oh, no way. Cool, I didn't realize I'd forgotten. Sounds violent. Kill grunts to break the elite enemy's shield. I was right. I'm here, Protect Captain. Yourself. Behind you, brother. <laughs> Can I damage him yet? No, I need to kill all the grunts. On, bro. Quite a crew you've got here. Jesus. Reminds me of Imlarith. Bollocks. I've got a resurrection stone. Oh, he's got this a second boss. Oh, damn it. You big Oh, she's got minions as well! Sick of this, man! One more 
That's all of it. I don't know how we're powered up here. What's going on? What was all that power up about? I was on fire. <laughs> uh, is there some ability here that I've forgotten about? I have no idea. One of six, god. Not down, that was quite fun to be fair. They weren't well they might be they might not all be boss focused, but I quite enjoyed that. Blazing ah, embers. See. Depending on what order we complete the challenges in, this final reward's different. Then we should try completing them in a different order. See what changes. What? No. Oh, thank you. Now we got Surtur's Scorched Cuirass. I don't like the cuirasses. It's just a heavy armour. Oh, you're to brought a pail of water. For 20! Oh, no, it does. Using... No, that's the Berserker. Kratos' attacks that hit enemies during their attacks do bonus damage. Right, we're going for the shoulder guards, fully upgraded. Woohoo! Looking good! Right. Yeah, we're not going to get better than this. Let's make some magic! I used my uh, resurrection stone. And I would like to go back to the healing rage, actually. I'd, uh, that was kind of crucial in me beating No. Right, so I don't have to go back to the other challenges, do I? What? Really? So that's six more challenges. I mean, they're pretty fun, but it's it's it's, it's recycling enemies, right? That, there might be something bespoke to it. Right, so I have to re-unlock it. Oh, I don't want to do that, man. I mean, I have to remember what order I've done them in. Hmm. Yeah, okay, I think I'm okay with leaving it. Leaving the main game there. Well, uh, yeah. That was worth it, though. We've got our armor all the way up. All our weapons are maxed. Uh, let's just check if we can upgrade the sh I don't I can't remember if the shield was max. Should have brought a pail of water. For 20. Oh, I need one more blazing ember that's, That is nonsense. Uh the rond of disruption, that's max. I really like those elemental storms, particularly the bifrost ones. Um I think we should have the same Yeah, the realm shift. I think it is pretty good to be fair. Oh, I've got it on all of them. I 
I've already been through this. The blades needed a different upgrade. Oh, right. Okay, we're losing out on three. Yeah, that's not too bad. Yeah, I don't think we can really do anything Prepare else. Prepare to be very impressed. Right, it's the end of the main game, really. Um, Niflheim, Niflheim. We need to do some raven hunting. Nearly got everything in Alfheim, right? Is there's one raven left? Two ravens in Alfheim. An artifact. Uh, most of Vanaheim's done. Most of Spartalfheim, to be fair. That's the last Idrisil rift. I should be. So, a reasonable amount left to do in Midgard. But... Right, so what we'll do is we're going to pay a visit to Sindri's house just to see if Tia showed up there in the end. Can't imagine he did. And then we'll uh, go for Vanaheim. We'll, we'll talk to Rapid Tasker just to see if he's got anything else to say. I'll maybe check in with Angra Boda just to see if we can get her to go and visit Charlie. Because it sounded like we could do something about that. I have retrieved your children. And finally, my little family is complete. Well, any questions before you travel on? Something I've been meaning to ask. Once you projected an emotional trait into spectral form, is it just gone from you? Suppose a friend wished to cast off his melancholy, or a predilection towards pining. I see, but I'm afraid it's not so simple. My spectral projections give me a measure of emotional breathing room, but it is only temporary. If I fail to reassimilate them, they start to fester. Fester? They are concentrated beings of emotion. And if left alone for too long, that emotion feeds on itself and becomes more and more, uh, pronounced. Which is why I must periodically reabsorb them, deal with their emotional baggage internally, and then eject them fully recharged. Huh. Absorbing all that emotion at once must be pretty bitter medicine to swallow. Oh, yes, it's quite unpleasant. Terrible, in fact. Do not recommend. <laughs> well, best of luck to your friend, good Master Mimir. Until our next encounter, then. Yes. Goodbye. I'm away with you already! Okay, just my head in a bit, that squirrel. I've got to be honest. Can we go in the back garden yet? The stags are eating their fill. Just as Ratatoskar said they would. Maybe he is just trying to build a family. Aren't we all? Sassy Freya. Well, I don't think Tear's going to be here, but it's worth checking. Okay, guys, yeah, we're at the end. Uh, feels a bit anticlimactic, but it always does when you have post game stuff, right? Doesn't mean it's not. But I, I still really appreciate post game settings like this. Yeah, I'll maybe try and do a proper post game chat at some point, but I think I kind of summarized how I feel about the game already. It's just, yeah, it's just a lot, it's just fun. It's, it's, it's just so playable, right? I, I think that. Maybe the only yeah, like I, I think the only other thing I've maybe not mentioned. I don't I don't really like the UI that much, but I don't really know what I would want from it. Um, I think that some of the the problem that you run into sometimes in these AAA games is that these skill trees. They're not really a skill tree, right? You're gonna you're gonna look how much experience we've got. Like you unlock everything, so it just means you don't necessarily end up with a build, in that sense. But you do end up with a build on the weapons with the runic attacks, the different rages, the different relics. Uh, and ultimately, I mean, the, the combat is quite is quite deep because you have so many different control, so, so many different attacks to, to utilize that getting in the flow of it, you know, it's actually really, really satisfying, right? Because, I mean, when you try and think of everything you've got, 
in terms of you know three different weapons, all of which have light attacks, heavy attacks, throwable attacks. Uh, two and sorry, light attacks, heavy attacks, light throw attacks, and heavy throw attacks. Uh, they've each got two different uh, runic attacks. They've each got different special variations for combos, for hold, for holding them. Um, yeah, it, the different elemental effects. We've got the shield bashes, uh, the blocks. I've not really parried, really. I stuck with the big shield. There's different types of Spartan rages, the different relics, the different combining of the elements, uh, the companion arrows and a, a special attacks as well. And it's just, yeah, it is. When you realize what you're cycling through in the fights, it's like there's a lot, you have so many different tools at your disposal. Um, the, yeah, the, I think the, the, the variety in combat is one of the game's biggest strengths, really, ultimately. I think that, I think that you underestimate how much, how many tools you have because the enemy variety, at least on the face of it, doesn't feel as vast as maybe you would want it. I think I think that maybe I think that some of the enemies could have done with a more significant reskinning, like you know, like the the el the the elves that we the dark elves, the Draugr, because there's several years have passed. I just feel like you could have kept the move set mostly the same, but you just could have given it a, a new look. Like you know, from software, do this. You see, you see animations in, from game to game that are exactly the same from games that came out five, six, seven years earlier, right? But they, they, they always, it's always in a new art style. I just think that that would have maybe enhanced the combat more. Just a coat of paint on the the reused enemies, and then you have like the Iron here. And some of the other enemies that are new, but like you know the wolvers, the Draugr, the the uh, the, the dark elves, just could have done with a bit of a something different doing to them rather than just completely reusing them because most of the move sets were the same from the first game. But yeah, other than that, I think that yeah the combat has so much variety, and I think that's why it's so satisfying. You've always got a, a tool to pull out of the bag. Um, yeah, and it, it's great. I, I think I'm just still riding the high off that Gnar boss fight and the and the Berserker King King Kral. They were quality fights. They they made you do absolutely everything. You had to do everything to win, and uh, that's why they were so awesome. Uh, I really enjoyed them, and I think I enjoyed them more than like the Odin fight or the Thor fight or the Heimdall fight. Um, because, yeah, I don't know, I guess you can always argue what... Pe people prefer different styles of boss fights, right? Some people prefer more bespoke parts of a boss fight. You know, like a, a mechanic you have to work around, like with Heimdall. Um, you know, where there's like a... I, I sometimes call that a bit of a gimmick in a fight, because I don't necessarily like that. I like the fight to work within the mechanics that you already know. So it creates a more of a rhythmic fight. But I understand some people prefer boss fights to have more bespoke elements to them. Like I know some people like really like Demon's Souls compared to some of the later Souls games because they a lot of the boss, most of the boss fights had a, a, a I call it like I said, like I call it a gimmick, but had a a bespoke mechanic to them that you had to figure out in a bit more of like a puzzle, like a real time puzzle style of boss fight whereas i i kind of prefer the more rhythmic boss fights and that's why i liked the Gnar fight and the king crawl fights because they engage with all of the mechanics you're using all the time in the combat right you need to recognize certain things and you have the tools to do that always and it beco it becomes like like a dance right a, a really rhythmic fight where you just trying to always do the right thing rather than working sort of some puzzly thing about i don't necessarily like that kind of a boss fight but yeah those last these last two um end game fights have uh, really emphasized that where you just you had to just use the right tool at the right time and it was just so when you got it right 
It has it has it has that Sekiro quality where it's just it's just you're constantly pressing buttons, right? And it's just it's so so gratifying um, to be playing a game like that. That is just it feels so rhythmic, um, and that's what I got from those fights, right? Um, I'm gonna have a crack at Valhalla for the next hour, see what it's about, see if it's more gameplay focused, if it's story DLC. I don't know. I, I'm, I was I was think I was guessing it was gameplay focused because it was free, so. Maybe similar to the first, to the Ghost of Tsushima multiplayer thing. It might be multiplayer. I can't imagine it is. But right, Matt, I'll see you there. Okay, we're going to give Valhalla a crack. Uh, so, yeah, I wonder. I have no idea. Are you joking me, man? I've got to download it. <laughs> oh, come on. Master thyself. After the events of Ragnarok. How do I get down here? After the events of Ragnarok, Kratos sees a path for himself he never thought possible, bringing him to the shores of Valhalla. Accompanied only by Mimir, Kratos embarks on a deeply personal and reflective journey that pushes him to master mind and body as he's confronted with the challenges of Valhalla in an unravelling, replayable adventure that blends the beloved combat from God of War Ragnarok with brand new elements Inspired by the roguelike genre. Okay, so it's a roguelike mode. Okay. In this epilogue to Ragnarok, Kratos enters Valhalla, a new location to the god of war Norse saga. Faced with echoes of his past, he fights to overcome the trials within himself and walk the path laid before him. The beloved combat reimagined, the team at Santa Monica Studio challenged themselves to create a new way for players to... In to engage with combat from Ragnarok with fresh and experimental twists inspired by the roguelite genre. Ragnarok Valhalla will pass you, push you to master different aspects of Kratos' arsenal during each attempt as you face new combinations of enemies and some surprises along the way. So Hades, basically. 3D Hades. Fight, learn and grow. Death is never the end. Kratos will have access to his weapons, skills, shields and abilities, but each new attempt will reset his stats runic attacks and perks as kratos progresses through each attempt you'll be presented with choices between rewards that will help you push deeper into the mysterious depths of valhalla while building resources towards persistent upgrades a gift to the fans as fans of their fans and as a thank you to the god of war community for their love and support santa monica is releasing ragnarok valhalla for free this add-on will be downloadable yep you'll need a copy yep Okay. All right. So it's a roguelike genre, no companion. I don't know. I'm, because it's free, I'm sort of wondering how significant this is going to be. But I'm, I'm hoping that when it's saying confront things from his past, maybe we're going to get some Greek stuff in here. Um. So yeah. Anyway, I'll be back in a second once this is downloaded. All right. Let's see. Yeah, I, I wish to proceed. Okay, recommended starting combat difficulty is Show Me Resolve. It's a combat focused adventure that rewards overcome, um, overcoming challenge. You're encouraged to change difficulties during your experience to find an ideal level. Um, recommended starting combat difficulty. Let's just go with the <coughs> middle one. I usually would go on hard, but... I want to see what the, it's about first. Okay, it's combat focused then. I mean, there's got to be some story stuff. Let's just see what it is. Let's just see. Certain you remember nothing of this place. Oh, nothing that would help us. Tell me, brother, why exactly are we doing this? The invitation. I do not know. Oh, that's comforting. 
This is the ruins of Asgard. Look, I know you expect more from the smartest man alive, but Odin always kept me in the dark about this place. Which is why I urged you to seek Freya's guidance. Repeatedly. She does not seem eager to speak with me. Well, quite the opposite, brother. Really? But you tell yourself whatever you need to. I can't really steer the boat, so. I see a shore ahead. Black sand. Exactly as described in the invitation. We finally bloody made it. Who invited us here? to basics then. Well, that felt unsettling, like we've plunged into a dream. <sighs> no, we don't need a refresher, we just finished playing. Okay, so the skill trees are full, but there's like a weird mix of stuff in here. We've got the basic sh shield, so I need to remember that. Hmm. Well, I guess we're going to start here every time. Doesn't seem anyone's here to welcome us. Locked. I don't suppose you'll take that as our cue to turn around and leave? Where are the Sialfua? Sinum Hautum. To be one's own master. Master thyself. A more poetic way of putting it, but yes. Valhalla may not appreciate our breaking in. Not the sort of foes I expected to encounter here. Curious. Oh, I don't know what that said. The way of this place to offer you a choice. Drastically increases the power of the impaling thrust skills. I do quite like that. 
Drastically increase the power of the Frost Rush and Leviathan's Fury. So, running attacks. Yeah, let's take Impaling Thrust. Glyphs provide combat bonuses for this attempt. Weapon Glyphs, yep. Stat Glyphs increase Kratos' attributes for this attempt. Each chest has a floating symbol that indicates the type of reward inside. Symbols Overview. Perks, Stats, Weapons, Runic. Why couldn't you just say what it is on the... Oh, God. A mix of all glyph types. A refill restores health or rage. Fleeting Echoes. A temporary resource that can be spent on tablets of endeavor to improve your chances of survival. A Mastery Seal. A persistent resource that can be spent at the Tablet of Reflection upon the shore for various permanent upgrades. A Spirit Seal. Persistent. Yep. Various permanent upgrades to Valhalla itself and Define Triumph. A very valuable persistent resource used for certain upgrades at the Tablet of Reflection and Tablet of Influence upon the shore. Right, so the Mastery, Spirit and Divine markers are what we really want. The rest of them will be only fit that particular attempt. At least you're not going in completely hobbled. I know it's Valhalla, so we might not get any Greek stuff in here, but... I should have put the difficulty up. Runic attack. The finger of ruin. Did I never get this one? Don't think I did, did I? Holdra charge. Yeah, I, I like the Holdra charge. Look at the cooldowns. Let's go Holdra charge. Yeah, we could have put the difficulty up. This feels way too easy. Should have gone with my first instinct. Right, so there's a seal. Perhaps the last remaining pocket of Asgard. Something unreal about it, though. At least this part seems peaceful. We should have a look around. You, you truly that. believe Freya would have aided us in this? Aided us? Talk sense into you? Win-win either way, really. I certainly can't see how there's any benefit to avoiding her. I am not avoiding her. Brother, you've gone to bloody Valhalla to avoid her. At least be honest with yourself. It is not her I'm avoiding. I value. Freya. Well, that I believe. And nice to hear you admit, frankly. I think she values you as well, in her way. She finds me useful. It is not the same. Is that really what you think? I do not believe she understands what she asks of me. We can't access that. <laughs> Okay, so there's some, weirdly enough, there is some exploration to do. Not permitted that way, it seems, and no way to pry it open. Those uh, gates make me feel like I'm playing control. I don't know why. Oh dear, 
wonder. What happens now, I wonder. Okay. Return to the shore, great. I didn't realise I was on such low health. I guess we've been Dark Souls. We're back outside. You marched into Valhalla without even talking to us first? Nice to see you too, my lady. It was a personal matter. That would not take you from your duties. You breached Valhalla. Consider it worth my time. This entrance is secret. Who told you of this place? Nailed to our door three days ago. Kratos of Sparta, you are hereby invited to a challenge. Face the past, face the future. Master Valhalla, master thyself. And then directions here, no signature. Who else knows of this entrance? Odin and us. It's likely a trap. You're thinking of going back in. Would you join me? Oh. Don't let me intrude on your personal matter. Besides, I can't. Unlike the two of you, I've never died. What happens if I return inside? Well, that depends on you. Valhalla draws from the memories of those who enter. In there, you're an open book. Sure, you want to go back in. How did you even get past the gate? I forced it open. With his bare hands. <sighs> he forced it open. There's an easier way if you insist on going back in. Come. Sigrun, maybe later we could continue with that one conversation then? For once, Mimir. I think you've said enough. Ah. Right then. And the other matter we discussed? You're still thinking, I take it? I am. Um... Is that what this is? Guess I'll let you think, then. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, General. Let's send you in properly prepared this time. First, Mahala requires you to perform the Ritual of Selection. So, what? Spartan Rage or a shield upgrade? Um, let's go Valor, because we're quite squishy. And I'm going to go Stonewall, because it's what we're used to. Good. Now, let my sister speak to you of Valhalla's rules and its values. What do you know of this place? Valhalla seeks to foster wholeness and balance within those who enter. To fully master yourself. You can't rely on only your most familiar tactics. I use the tactics appropriate to the situation. Of course. But varying your approach will demonstrate to Valhalla the full mastery of your abilities. And Valhalla will reward such demonstrations. Be sure to come back and see me as you progress. What have you to say? The challenge of Valhalla is not merely about overcoming obstacles. It's about the way you overcome them, how you demonstrate mastery of your own powers. We can guide you down a path, but Valhalla will be the judge of your progress. Return to me when you've met a goal, and we will observe. I am ready. Air, Gunnar, with me. A 
all love the sound now design in this game. Valhalla by this gift, without suffering the penalty of breaching. Thank you, Sigrun. Any cursed feeling this time? No. All is well. Thank you, shield maidens. All right, let's try this whole thing again. I've still got that ability. <laughs> Attempt. New choices to make. A fresh start. It influences the future. Right. Right, easy choice. Let's go drop this wall. Whale. Sigrun, did you anger her? I wouldn't say she's angry with me. Irritated, perhaps. Disappointed, certainly. Ah, but you needn't worry yourself, brother. I won't let it distract from whatever it is we're doing here. Thrust of a thousand soldiers. Right, we're familiar with that. And the windstorm. Go with the thrust attack. Did I replace that then? Maybe that was an unwise choice. Sorry, I should have checked. I guess we just go... So, this is no piece of Asgard at all. Just something spun from your memory of it. Fascinating. So, fleeting Brother, echoes are... I must admit, Freya's idea just made quite a bit of sense to me. What better god of war could the realms ask for than the general who won Ragnarok and won it trying to save lives? With you on board, our whole peacekeeping council could really do some good. This position, this title, I have held it before. You know what happened. She knows what happened. Of course we do. But why should who you used to be matter more than who you are now? Can't you see how far you have come? However far I have come, I have done it running from that life, that title, that throne. Aye. What's this? Does? I wish we didn't have to collect resources, if I'm being honest. Oh! 
Go! Oh, where the hell did that come from? Still getting health and stuff. Hmm? An attack glyph. The finger of ribbon. This is the one that we mustn't have found in the main game. Chaotic Cyclones. It's got a finger of ruin. I suppose this is about how you remember your name, eh? I do agree with you about Freya's counsel. It is a noble idea to succeed on her merits. How is that, brother? Freya is known to the realms and native to them, respected by all. An experienced leader. Experienced enough to know that a shared power is best for the people. That she would share power proves she is worthy to wield it. Even so, why make her wield it alone? Without Odin, the realms have a chance to forge a new peace. When conflicts do arise and can't be talked through, a god of war ensures those conflicts have rules and enforces them. They need might and judgment and credibility across the realms. Who else would she pick, brother? Hmm. <laughs> Seems there's a way at hand to bargain with Valhalla directly. Glyphs purchased at the Tablet of Endeavor will be lost at the end of an attempt. Acquired runic attack glyphs can be upgraded for this attempt. Press square to re retain your progress in Valhalla and exit to the main menu. Okay. Holding L2 for several seconds grants a buff, increasing all ranged attack damage for a short duration. Or well, we can upgrade one of our runics. I'll take this, this seems cool. Everything's locked. The way out was back that way, so let's just look up here. Oh, OBS, what are you doing? Don't know what all this stuff is yet. Hello! On your left! Uh, 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 
That's pretty useful. It's just like Hades. I'm picking the ranged attacks over everything else. Yeah, this is way too easy. I should have gone the higher difficulty. The Dark Elf. Valorous Bloodthirst. Spartan Rage Valor heals less, but provides a powerful buff of strength and lifesteal. Runic Affliction. Runic attacks to increase damage against status afflicted enemies. Let's go with uh, Bloodthirst. And this must be how you remember Sparklefight. Fire knows I would not refuse to aid her when in need. I have done and will do my part to fight for peace, regardless of title, regardless of whether I sit in authority. You know as well as I do there's power in words, oaths. The people need to know you're committed to them and to yourself. That you'll be there for them, and I know that you will. I understand you've got misgivings, man, but you've put your past behind you. We all see it. You do not know everything that I am. That you were. You've told me of your past, and yes, much of it was horrible. But you've proven over and over again that you're not that man anymore. Lots of stuff we just can't unlock yet while we're setting all the story up, I guess. Okay, let's just go through the door. Yeah, can we, uh... Okay, we're stuck with this difficulty until we die. Fair enough. Yeah, way too easy for me. In my opinion, sorry.
The ascent, right, the ascending sands. There. That is the path we seek. A way up and forward. Valhalla's inner reaches. I can feel it. If there's an upside to this Valhalla madness, at least it's good to see you in action again. You're already more your cheery self than I've seen in moons. Without Atreus or a fight in front of you, I wonder after your well-being. Combat can be. Fine. Some what is this? You recognize your own seat, don't you? <laughs> Kratos. I have not forgotten the debt I owe you. Still feels reckless. Here they are now. That's odd. They're back outside, but we didn't, you know. Sometimes you reach as far as you're ready to go. Valhalla's decision or yours? Hmm. Does this mean you're done in there? No. I will discover who invited me. I believe I am close. No, no. You're sure it's worth dying for? Oh, I think we're fairly accustomed to dying at this point. Don't be glib, Mimir. Valhalla restores you after honorable death in combat, but beyond that, it makes its own rules. And if you don't play by them... Kratos, the threat of death in there is real. That is... good to know. If by good, you mean wildly disconcerting. I do wish you luck. Truly. Right, we'll stick at this difficulty for the rest of the video, or maybe up it for the next one. If we're not getting like boss fights and stuff. Valhalla demands the willingness to embrace discomfort. Let's see. Do these tasks, return here for rewards. Fair enough. Visit the labor market to accept new labors and redeem completed ones for rewards. The market offers tasks that are repeatable and cycle at random, so make sure you visit often. Great pots. <sighs> Discover and unlock various armor and weapon attachments to customize Kratos' appearance. It's cosmetic only and doesn't have any effects on the gameplay. I like the survival set, personally. Cloak of the Black Bear? Oh, they... Of Zeus and Ares. Oh, am I spoiling things? Sorrow of Sparta. God, could we have found that Zeus stuff in the main game? Maybe. Man, I like the uh, survivals, to be honest. Oh, you can just choose the, the tier. Yeah, I like our basic set. Let's go for the wooden. Hmm. 
Yeah, none of these look great. Nice. We're gold again. Perfection may be unattainable, but imagine striving for any less. Well, this has got the Omega sign on it. These could really help you in there. Right, permanent upgrades. Right, max health. God. Right, okay, fair enough. Stats. Right, okay. Um, I'm gonna go for a bit. Of a durable improvement. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Oh, what's happened? I don't know if our max health. We should concentrate on vitality instead. Yeah, let's go cool down. And we're low health, so let's go a bit of defense. I'm gonna go for a lot of cooldown here. More, should we go one health? The maximum rage, I, I don't think it's that important. Yeah, I like cooldown. Use our abilities more often. Right, here we go. Got a shield and health, vitality. Oh, rage, rage type. Yeah, I still like that. Is it always just going to be shield and rage? Selecting the shimmering shield grants... Oh, right, I didn't read that. I've never used this. Right. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Well, it's on Valor anyway. So if we hold it... Right, we'll do one more attempt. Power of the Hyperion Pull, Gift of Strength on any Axe Kill. I never use these. Alright, sure. We can uh, name the blades for a bit. That wasn't there before, was it? All oh, right, we're going a different path, are we? Find your 
Rampage of the Furies. Yeah, I love Rampage of the Furies. God, there, there. That's a that's Greek stuff, isn't it? Look, brother, the fog's lifted. Valhalla's becoming more open to you, perhaps. So much to see in the distance there. You can see how all the little realm spaces connect to the higher plane, and those statues are certainly imposing. I recognize them. They are judges of the underworld, <laughs> from my homeland. Ah, well, you sound thrilled to see them again. Souls they deemed righteous were granted entrance to the Elysium Fields. Those deemed wicked were cast into Tartarus. Ah, yes, where the souls of the damned were tortured. Why has your mind manifested them here, I wonder? Well, because this is like the afterlife of this mythology. <laughs> Okay, so we can choose to go further, or we can choose to like get the story bit from that, maybe? I don't know. I'm going for the door. some help. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. What's going on? I genuinely think I'm about to lose my voice. Oh. Flame Whiplash have a moderate luck chance to grant a blessing of cooldown and a low luck chance to grant a rage burst on any bl blade skill. Let's go Whiplash. I need to use it. So. I like using it as well. I like trying to use it because you can use it like a parry when you get the timing. Ah, Midgard in memoriam. Ah, I'm starting to see there's no fixed order to the realms <coughs> we'll visit here. Jeez. Brother, whose voice was that we heard when Valhalla sent us back from the throne? You heard it also. Aye. Said he owes you a debt, was it? Someone who might lend us a hand, perhaps? Unlikely. He was a god of Greece, and we did not part on good terms. And by that you mean... Yes, I see. No shortage of bitter old ghosts in these parts. These parts being your memory, of course. Is that a realm tower over there? Oh, 
But why would we use this? I'm uh, gone a bit blank there. Anyway, let's go through the door. to waste the rage. Oh, I wasted the rage. That's a bit annoying. A lot annoying. Stats. Blessing of endurance, so more defense, more cooldown. Blessing of fortune, strength and luck. Let's go defense and cooldown, makes more sense. We don't need luck. We don't need luck in this life. Brother, that throne we saw, did you recognize it? Was it familiar? It was mine. The throne I took from Ares. It is a throne of monsters. Ah, the anxiety of power made manifest. A symbol you're no doubt meant to consider. It is a symbol I reject. That might not quite close the book on matters. A symbol can't be slain, destroyed, or ignored. The best measure is often to reclaim it, to redefine it. Remind us it's not the throne, but the god who sits in it. <sighs> But those things bring the run to an end, I think. Seventy percent resistance to all status effects. Pretty good. Can upgrade the rampage. We don't need that. <coughs> I'm genuinely losing my voice, I don't know what's happening. Yeah, let's take this. Why not? We are going to have to get used to what doors lead where, I suppose. There's a 
ranged enemy somewhere. Then. That's the far plane. There it is. <clears throat> All right, a new heavy attack. Oh, not this one. That takes ages. Yeah, I prefer Tartarus Rage. Quicker cooldown. Fights in a row now. Valhalla's demands are escalated. Defeating Valhalla's Chosen will unlock the Ascending Sands. It wasn't locked, was it? Maybe that's for like the next level. Blessing of Fortune or Ivaldi's Anvil. Strength and Luck. No, I don't mind another. This is my favourite runic attack. The way he, he, he like puts the axe behind his back is just so satisfying. <coughs> Our cooldown's decent, so... Ready to move to the next base, brother? Should be clear. Can we go through other doors as well now? No. Oh! 
Ooh, can't interrupt that. I don't remember any of these attacks. damage against a burning enemy. Valhalla chose that enemy to face me. I sense there are more challengers like it to find. That is how we earn our way forward. Right. Um... Okay, so... That's a mastery seal. Does that mean we can't open the other one? Rage restore or a blessing of strength? Strength, please. I don't need the rage. They missed lost words. Yeah, he, we did so much damage to him. I should be playing on the other difficult. Congratulations, old friend. You really are going places in Valhalla. Where's Mumir? Is that really all you have to say to me? After all this time, can't muster up so much as hello for one of your most auspicious victims? Hello, Helios. Where is Mumir? How should I know? Why don't we go look for him? <laughs> Helios. Valhalla has manifested a sun god from my homeland. I never told you of Helios, an Olympian who crossed my path in my hunt for revenge. I needed his power and gained it by separating him from his head. I'm not proud of what I did, which Valhalla is using as a tool to provoke me. He's quite unpleasant, and I'm glad you'll never have to meet him. I mean, Odin's probably behind all this, really, making us relive all this stuff. What sort must a mortal be in life to be given such power and authority in Valhalla, to wield a scythe and defend territory with such vigour, I imagine this Fisk a farmer who took up arms against some threats and proved adept at slaughter. For his valour he's awarded an afterlife of more slaughter. I wonder whether he even has a choice. Just <clears throat> behind. So What's new with you, Kratos? Murdered any good pantheons lately? Devastated any populations with the cataclysmic consequences of your actions? Turned on any once trusted allies? You simply must bring me up to speed on your latest saga of blood-soaked vengeance. I am that no longer. You don't mean to say you've gone soft. Never believe it. Once a Spartan, always a Spartan. No, there's no fooling me, Kratos. You know what they say. You can't hide in the shadows from a sun god. At least, I really should say. I recognize his voice. Maybe from Hades. <laughs> Kind of funnel funneling us, isn't it, Helios? Say, the decor is looking a little more familiar, isn't it? A mighty chain, auspicious sign. You've always had such luck with chains. This is all going to work out just great for you. I can feel it. 
That must be one of the Hades voice actors. Oh, there it is. Home sweet home. Olympus. Look at the stick drift. I didn't do that. My controller's in trouble. The pops have changed. This room must really take you back. Isn't this the chamber of sacrifice? Where you let an Athenian soldier burn to a crisp just so you could get past the room? Oh, those madcap early days. How you must miss them. I bet they've uh, really enjoyed making some scenes from the old games. The, the developers, sorry. Kratos, you mean to sacrifice me again? Huh. Undead Legionnaire. Burning damage going on. Seems you'll need to push me along to get anywhere. Oh, good. You're making eye contact as you push me towards my demise. What a special little personal touch. Really lets me know where I stand. Especially after such a long and agonized deliberation over what to do. Oh, how reluctant you'll tell people you were to sacrifice me to the flame! These undead soldiers use a shield to. Yep. Under Ares, soldiers drilled until the training was in their bones. There's no mere, this is no mere expression. When the bones of the fallen were summoned to fight again, the undead warriors retained their skill of swordplay even as they lost their souls. Come on, you won't get very far without me. I hate to disappoint you, you blithering idiot. But you do remember I'm a sun god, right? You think I'm afraid of a little fire? Don't threaten me with a good time, Kratos. Maybe I'll be infused with power and achieve my final form. Maybe I'll explode and take you with me. Let's just see what happens. Let's just see. Is this? Oh. 
We got a new weapon. Legacy is now available at the Spartan Rage pedestal on the shore. Legacy. Like a rare form of rage. That's what we've got now, I think. Time for another push. Let's go. I think it's the voice of um what's his name? The the Minotaur's friend. Okay, seriously, Kratos, get me out of this cage. It's not funny anymore. From Hades. I can't believe you mean to roast me on a whim on a presumption that it's what Valhalla wants from you. Have you ever considered that maybe your instincts are just random thoughts that pop into your head, no more likely to be true than the next? Hmm? Maybe consider that! Quickly! You're really just going to incinerate me and see what happens? Is it going to turn back I to Mimir? you haven't changed one son of your brother? What am I doing in here? Over here. Over here. What's that? No. No! Get me out of here! Brother! What is this? Help me! I'm trying! Brother! Please! Do not panic. We will simply return to the gate. I don't think so. I think you've broken how Valhalla works. Oh, I think this is it, brother. Sigrun? Let's get you out of here! Sigrun! Mom, you're fun then. I'm not supposed to be here! Oh, Kari, I know! Oh no, you poor thing, look at you. You shouldn't have done that. Oh, heal, dummy. You and Kratos would not. But you're safe now. Sigrun, I'm sorry. I've been so foolish, I... Later, love. <laughs> I need a moment. As I will be forever in yours. <clears throat> My lady! Stop. You've seen me worse. I'm not sure about that, boss. Hush. It's nothing air can't heal. <coughs> this could take some time. Go on, Kratos. Get back in there. And do what you need to do. Shh. Okay, cool. Death. Significant story here. This is going to be cool, then. Um, yeah, we'll play it until the sort of story element of it concludes, right? I think that should be the plan. Cool, we're getting lots of Greek stuff, which is what I was hoping for. Right, guys, awesome. We'll leave it there. Hope you enjoyed this one. A start to Valhalla. Um, yeah, challenge runs that have a, a hint of the past as Kratos tries to accept the offer of becoming the new god of war for the realms. What Tyr used to be, I suppose, here, and what Kratos was back in Greece or Sparta. Interesting. So we're going to wrestle him with some demons. 
Um, seeing some faces from the past, reenacting some scenes from the old games should be cool. Right. Yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a thumbs up if you did. Just remember, everyone, never trust an uncrate. I'll see you next time.